What's going on, everybody? My name is Tyler. And I'm Luke. And welcome back to Love Live Season 2 episode discussion, this time for Episode 9. Uh, first of all, sorry in advance, my pop filter broke, so I'm hard. Sorry if you hear any uh, any hard peas. Because, hard uh, with a hard P. We got hard peas now. Anyway, all right. I, I'm sorry I had to derail the hype for this episode to talk about my hard peas, but wow, this episode. Okay. Um, Damn good episode. I, first I of all, the no, no, first... no, 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 no. I will be the first. Told you so. Oh, hmm. Well, I will be the <laughs> second to admit that, <laughs> that I was I was wrong, boy. And I, that did, I didn't tell you. I told you so when we watched it. I saved it for right now. Yeah. Local man, um, the most wrong person in the universe. Local man, also not the most angry person in the universe anymore, like I thought I was going to be. Local man converts. It's kind of like the Grinch, you know? Like, my heart grew three sizes with this episode. You get over it, um, Ruby guys. Now us Maru guys can just be sad in the corner together. No, you still got time. Yo's, Yo's got to get an episode, too. Don't forget. Yo got her episode in season one. Give, what was, me, what was... give me my second Hanamaru episode or give me death. <laughs> um... Oh man, there's so many things I want to talk about for this episode. Where do we even start? Well, I mean, so okay, as always, spoilers. <laughs> I feel like we don't need to say that anymore, but but hey. So the first thing, like this is actually major news, is if you haven't heard the live that's going to happen with Saint Snow Very and Aqua high. subunits, that's a thing that's going to happen. That's super is 20, cool. Is 2018 going to be the year of things we have to wait for? Well, that's that's like, happening in like December. Like no, the live month. is happening in, in April. I thought it was happening in December. I saw something about December like 20th. That's 18th, when the song comes out. No. The song comes it? out the 20th. The live is in April. Thinking emoji? Ah, I thought I said something about like 18th, 19th, 20th. Whatever. I mean, that'd be awesome, but nope. That'd be pretty <laughs> awesome, yeah. Uh, um, yeah, so we got that. We got two Saint Snow songs on an Aqua CD. That's weird. Oh, my my turn. I to- Let me be the first to say I told you so. <laughs> That's so weird. Like that is so unprecedented. I just did. I I I'm so flabbergasted and actually like pretty distraught now that that's minus one Aqua song. I was like, oh, the Saints No songs will just be on the uh, on the uh, OST, and then we'll have an Aqua song there. So that's minus one Aqua song to the world, and I'm 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 pretty pissed. Yeah, but that's also plus one Saints No song in general because like we we all thought it just it was going to go by like standard insert song CD rules or it was just going to have two and it ended up having three tracks so that's pretty cool. Well I, I assume that those two uh, like Saint Snow songs would be on the OST and then we'd have two Aqua songs there plus the like the mashup that we were pretty sure we were going to get so like we'd, we'd have that would be plus one song just in general I wanted that in mm-hmm. my life one less Aqua that- songs I'm suing <laughs> that'll be cool though don't worry I mean It'll it, be very uh, cool. If your if your theory is right, then these next seventeen episodes that are gonna happen are gonna have a song each or something. <laughs> Let's see what there's there's four more. This is episode nine, right? Ten. Yeah. 12, yeah. There's four more episodes, so we're gonna have two episode two songs. So that's pretty hypey, actually. Like that's still that's still a pretty good ratio. I'll take that. It's not three, so, but you know you can't win every time. Okay, Atlantis. Okay, so obviously the last episode is going to have a song. Right. Do you think it's going to be? I think it's. Going I, to be I don't 11. think it's. It's just so it's just so neat. Like I want to believe it's gonna be eleven. Yeah, I I think I agree. I think there's been um, a song in episode eleven of, let's see, um, when was no that song was episode ten. The the first season song was episode ten, and then No Brand Girls was episode eleven of SIF. Yeah, and then School was, Idol Festival. Yeah, yeah who remembers Idol episode Festival? eleven? God damn, get me out. <laughs> episode eleven of SIP. What was episode eleven of season two of SIP? Was that the uh, was that the uh, episode where they go on the train ride and go to the beach and it's really sad and everybody cries and then I cry? Or was that twelve? I don't remember. I don't think that. Ooh, I don't actually remember. Sorry, people who remember. Yeah, we're gonna get sued over <laughs> this. All right, let's talk about the episode though. This is why we're damn here. good episode. Yeah, no, this episode was fantastic. It was everything I wanted. Like I, I know that that whole episode. Last episode, the episode discussion is what I'm referring to, which is Tyler sitting around being a spoiled brat going, yeah, the episode was good, but it's not what I wanted. Um, and now this episode is what I wanted. Like, I am now officially a spoiled princess because I got my way in the end. Yeah, it's definitely not my favorite episode of the season, uh, but it's, it was really good. Like, it's, it's right up there. There's a couple like there's a couple minor things near the end that I, I was like, ah, ah, yeah, yeah. but overall, oh, yeah? I, re- I really liked it. I didn't like how, every, how everybody like was in the song. I thought it would have been really cool if I it was just that was if a- it was just Leah in the thir- in the first years. Like I'm not too upset about it. Um, it just it just it would have been. I think it would have been nicer, you know. It was it was really weird. Like the whole 
like the way they were sounding when they were talking about it was very like like they, they like almost implied that they weren't in the song you know yeah. like when they came back to them like we couldn't let you do this you know like we had to we had to come see you like implying that they were going to be in the audience and it's like oh okay yeah, I think that would have been really and then, cool and then you see them it's just Leah and, and Ruby and they're doing their thing and then like all of a sudden you start seeing like uh, you see Sarah and the um and like the second years run out of nowhere, you're like Sarah. You see Sarah like Sarah and Daya, and I was like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool still. And then yeah, and everybody then, else. <laughs> yeah, and that's like, oh, hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it's not bad. But like I, I think it would be a little weird. Like I know obviously the earlier songs they can't have every member because they haven't joined yet, like hand in hand and stuff like that. But I think it'd be like a little weird to have a song this late in the series that wasn't like full unit or at least close to full unit, kind of like Omoide was. I I, I would agree with Omo you there. I would agree with you there if there wasn't like a precedent for this already with Love Wing Bell in season two of SIP, um, where it was only mm-hmm. the six member song and like the second years are gone and they have a, like a perfectly good reason to be gone and not there. And like, so I was, I, I'm not, I'm, it perturbs me a little bit, but it overall it doesn't like diminish my enjoyment of the episode. Speaking of the first years or the, the second years being gone, I remember I praised, um, oh geez, what episode did I praise? The second years were just, I think gone. it was the I second episode. The, um, I think it was the second or third uh, episode. It, it was the second. Second. Was it the my, my, episode? My, no, my mind tonight was the third episode. So yeah, the second episode was the one where they were working on the songs. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that yeah. one. I was like, hell yeah, second years. Just get the hell out of here and let us enjoy some development for other characters. In this episode, they took that to the next level. They literally, like, <laughs> they were as far away. Like, get on a plane and go away. Like levels of get out of here. Like that's. What they happened. still had ESP. Good. ESP Chica though reading everybody's mind to figure out what they're trying to say to try to t- tell us what they are trying thinking. I know. Like I just thought it was so funny. It was like literally the one way they found to give the first year's development is to literally <laughs> put the rest of the girls on a plane and ship them somewhere else. Goodbye. I think that's just how they that's just how they've done it with everybody. <laughs> like <Yeah. laughs> they, like the the second years aren't in the episode if it's if it's uh, an episode for somebody else. And and I'm fine I with know. that. Like they they the the second years just like grab it. They, camera gravitates towards the second years i love the um the <laughs> well i mean it started off with just dia worrying but then it kind of turned into like yeah but what if for everyone else when they were like is aqua's just going to become saint snow <laughs> and then yeah. we got the young uh, uh, that was so good when it happened i was like I was, when it was leading up to the moment i was like please be like the ellie scene in, in sip please where she's with a rise and it was and i was uh-huh. so happy <laughs> Uh, it was that was that was a good that was a good time. Yeah. Um, we did get the development that I I was hoping for with Ruby. Um, I I did read all the com- I mean I always read all the comments that you guys post, but a lot of the comments were saying that Ruby doesn't necessarily need an independence arc to have development, and you guys kind of like really like changed my opinion on that. I was like, oh, you know, that's you, you guys are totally right. I understand. But we did get kind of like a little bit of an independence arc, like when she was standing in front of those people trying to present the. Um, trying to present her song it was like this is what we're going to do i mean obviously it's not an arc but it's like a little bit of a uh, i can do this on my own type thing and we got the little flashback between ruby and daya you know yeah yeah and i wouldn't even say it's a little bit you said it's it's a little bit this is like pretty big development for love life standards like i don't think it's i don't think oh, it's the most I mean, but it's this this is pretty this is pretty awesome two episodes set I'm, up for development like oof. yeah that's what i'm trying to say i'm not saying like what i was saying is the independence itself was like a little bit less than it was just a small slice of the whole development is what right, I'm trying right, to say. Right, okay. okay, I understand. Um, yeah, and for, <laughs> this is the first time we got to see small Ruby that wasn't Happy Party Train. Yeah, I think this was, yeah. That was pretty hypey. Yeah. Um, really? Yeah, that, that was really cool. Before we move on to the song, though, I do want to say not a big disappointment because I feel like... I, I don't know how to put this. I wish the first years were a little bit more integral in this episode like as much as i i love ruby like you know i've been waiting for this ruby episode for years i was born and i was like where's the ruby episode i just like i wish that yoshiko and hanamaru played a little bit more of a part in contributing you know what i'm trying to say i I think they i think they did their part in kind of being this comedic duo to kind of lighten up the the mood you know like love life does a really good job of like its comedic timing and um I felt like in a lot of more serious episodes, there's something very serious happening, like the school closing, and you don't need that comedy. But I, I, this episode would have been a miss without something to kind of lighten up the mood a little bit. And so that's why I think mm-hmm. I think Yoshiko and Hanamaru did did that pretty well. Could you have used them a little bit more to like be a little bit more serious? Sure. But I felt like they they did a good job of kind of cutting up the uh, the serious air when there's not actually supposed to be that much serious air. 
Yeah. It's oh, not that big very, a deal. You want to talk about serious development? The thickometer shifted the from Hanamaru thick to Yoshiko. Yeah, dude, the jiggle, the jiggle physics on those cheeks. <laughs> like and then that. she was standing on the seesaw, and uh, <laughs> Hanamaru and Ruby were like not weighing her down or whatever. <laughs> actually, she, uh, and then she actually killed them. Yeah, she was what? down. She was down on the. She was down all the way, and then the other two were up. And then when she jumped off, actually murdered them. Yeah, <laughs> goodbye. That's how. That's how you break a collarbone, kids. Okay, so I don't want to collarbone. Like, I don't want tailbone. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm drunk. I'm not actually drunk. Go ahead. I don't want to beat around this anymore. I, I want to talk about the song. Um, okay, I don't even. If you want to say something, go ahead because I'm about to go on a tangent. So I'll let you start. I hope it's not too long. Uh, I felt like the song was really good. I think it's the worst. Of the, I don't like using the word worst in this scenario. Uh, how do I word it better? Uh, it's definitely my least favorite, but I still really, really enjoy it. And, it, and lyrically, I, I, I even enjoyed it a lot lyrically. Like It felt perfect with the characterization that we got in the episode. It's just another case of in in any situation where there's a list, you're always going to have the least favorite. Like that's, right. No, yeah, that's yeah. It's, it it's still a great song. I think it's a great song. Uh, Consistency-wise, all three songs this season have been great. It's just my least favorite of the three. Okay. And again, I always want to save some like discussion for when we actually analyze the of song. Course, yeah. It comes out December 20th. Wow, what a Christmas present. Um, so I, I will keep it as brief as I can. Um, I thought this song was nothing short of amazing. Uh, this is another song that is guaranteed a spot in my top 10 unless Lantis finds a way to my list it into my top 15, uh, like last time. <laughs> um, I, how do I put this? I <sighs> just let, love let, him get over to, the, let him get over the Ruby hype. Yeah. No, <laughs> love, love Lantis knows how to make episode nine really good is what I'm trying to say. Last time we got Mijuka Dreamer. This time we got, uh, we got this song. We got Wonder Zone. Oh boy. <laughs> I guess no, it's but, Sunrise um, officially, because Sunrise does do anime. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. super curious, like, actually, like, I've never looked into it. How much how much of a hand does Lantis have in the episode, like, in, 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 the, in the setting for the, not setting, the story for the episodes? Super curious, or if Sunrise handles all that. Continue, I'm sorry. I was just, uh, I, I went off, that was a tangent. It's okay. It's okay. Um, so it's just like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. My opinion of the songs this season, I was actually thinking this, I think like Wednesday or like Thursday of this week. It was in the middle of the week. I was like, I I know we've only had two songs thus far. And in SIP, I think we had like four, I think, right? By this Not point? including OP or ED. By this point? We had like three, yeah. Uh, By episode nine in the first season, we had four, yeah. Hand in hand. Uh, oh, you're talking, Dajobo, Dajobo, Dajobo. you're talking about first season of Sunshine? Yeah, so, said, so we had... Yeah. Okay, we, we, well, by episode bet. nine, we had four, yeah. So I know we only had two, but I was like thinking to myself, like, if Lant or if if season two wants to even hold a candle to season one, they gotta really bring the guns. I mean, like, it, it's just an impossible standard. You know what I mean? Like when you're up against season one songs, like, I mean, how much better can you get than than like Sunshine So Show songs? I think they're fantastic. And honestly, I think they brought the guns today. Like, wow, this song was so good. Like Miracle Wave. I think is is pretty good. Definitely not my favorite. Probably my least favorite we've heard of the season so far. I think my I feel, tonight. I think I feel about Miracle Wave how you feel about this song and vice versa. That's that's cool actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, my my tonight is like a really good song. It's like super good, but I don't know if it can still beat out like all the other like season one songs. But this song, it's just just switch how Luke and I feel about Miracle Wave. It's just I I'm in love with this song. Every part of this song. This song takes elements from every other Love Live song. And it's funny because it's the same composer as uh, as the other ones. Like, I was listening to it and I was like, okay, there's definitely some No Brand Girls in here. There's definitely some, some uh, oh geez, Super Love, Super Live in here. And then I looked it up and it's like, oh, it's the same guy. He wrote it. <laughs> so, no, I, I was like, I'm a genius. I definitely feel like the, uh, y you can, you can really well uh, compare season one and season two at this point like Miracle Wave My My Tonight might end up being my personal favorite just like CD ever uh, I gotta give it a couple of weeks a couple months but uh, like that beats out everything but Majuka Dreamer for me in the first season this song there's about three songs I take over it from the from the first season but three or four songs but man they they, they just keep getting better Lantis just everybody working for them just keeps getting more consistent and much better for every song and it's, it's really impressive to see them grow it's also After School Navigators, boy. I completely forgot about that. Um, I, I like how a characteristic thing he does is just, in the middle of the song, just break up the song, and it's like, whoops, it's a marching band song now. And now there's, <laughs> like, 
like drums and all kinds of crazy like marching band stuff and i think that's super cool and i'm really hyped to hear the full version my one fear for this song though is not the inclusion of any girls or anything like that it's i'm I just i'm really worried that there's not going to be much more song you know because we got to hear like a lot today it was a so long unless the song is like TV. supremely long like <laughs> it, yeah it was a long know. pv we're looking at a 12 minute long song here i was, I was just thinking about <laughs> it when was the last time we missed like like i had like you or i had a miss in a song we were like eh, eh i don't really like it like am i thinking back to like the third song on happy party uh, train i think that's i think that's what it is like the Chica last miss for, me. for me you're mm, you're sleeping I, I, know, I know, I know, I know. You like that. I know the you vocals, like that song, or you like that song. The vocals on that song are so good. Um, so that's Sleeping that's me. Sleeping boy. I thought landing action, yeah, was a miss until we got solo mixes, and I was like, this is the greatest song of all time. Um, Miracle Wave. When I first listened to it, I was like, it's good. Uh, oh, and miracles. then the full version came out, and I was like, oh, it's it's actually great. I Miracle like this song. Miracle Wave makes me flex. Miracle Wave is my is my new wasn't a big fan when I first heard it and then I listened to it a bunch and then became a fan makes me deal. makes me become flex tape I'm, no <laughs> uh, no it's a really good song really good season so far in, in show songs excited for the next episode it looks like the third year uh, episode so I'm hoping that it's oh, not man, I'm hoping we don't sadness. get that episode because if we don't get that episode that means we're getting a season three so you know fingers crossed they all fail their classes and become super seniors yeah hell yeah dude <laughs> Now we can make the ultimate idol group. Um, I thought it was very sad at the very end when uh, Leo was like, I'm leaving St. Snow and I'm going to perform a, a new idol group, but stronger oh, kind of thing. You know what that did to me? Oh, that broke, that like made me so sad because I thought about Muse in season season two of, uh, of yeah, SIP. Yeah, at the very end, I thought the same thing. Yeah, when, when, when they're like, uh, we're not going to be Muse anymore. We're going to come up with, our, with a different group. And I'm like, oh, oh. You know? We're just gonna be Nico Rinpana, except Nico we're Rinpana just Rinpana without, without <laughs> and with Maki and with Hanukkah and, and Umi and Kotori. Um, there was something. Oh, I've mm, the only times I've I've actually like broken out into tears in Love Live is when I was supposed to, like at the very end of uh of the movie when Bokutachi is playing and live when Bokutachi is playing. <laughs> but um, not breaking out in tears I've, during Moment Ring. You are you are baby. I, I, I've, I've done it after I like <laughs> knew the implications of broken broken wing. Oh my goodness! It's these broken wings learn um, to fly. But as soon as um, okay, so there's a scene in the new song right after Leah and Ruby are done singing where it's a big fat line cliche. Hey, you know those things that I like, and the uh, the lights turn on like all down the sidewalk. As soon as that happened, I was just like, I'm I'm gone. Mute my microphone when I was watching it with Luke. I was like, I'm out of here. I gotta cry. Can we talk about the bad <laughs> ending that almost happened, like Leah and Ruby almost just got hit by cars. That's the bad ending. Yeah, that that's Susa Minamaro part two. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. What if this is still just all imagined by Honoka? <laughs> still just the coma fever dream. Honoka is still in the coma like six years later, or five. Ugh. Uh, well, the yeah one, two yeah five yeah. That's what are we lore. using for the? I'm gonna keep this in. What are we using for the uh, for the picture this week? I think it's a pretty definitely. Obvious, oh, like, there was a really Saint good one. Snow the Saint Aquas. Snow Aquas. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna uh, want I that figured, one. I figured, but like Saint Aquas <laughs> Snow. Yeah, we want that one. Yeah. Um, There's. I think their fear was like thing. they weren't even gonna call it Aquas. They were just like, yeah, we're just Saint, we're just Saint Snow. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I but I am extremely excited to hear Crash Mind. Crash Mind, I think it is, and Drop Out. Yeah, I think Crash I, Mind. <laughs> drop Out with punctuation yeah yeah it's it's they're they're really <laughs> they're really upset by it it's not them uh, dropping out they're the mother of the person who's dropping out and they're super confused and startled <laughs> but you have good grades but you're an um, ab student uh, so overall this is the episode i've wanted um as, as far as the checklist goes uh we have like hanamaru like a, a true hanamaru episode you can kind of say like the the original like I'm a normal girl. That was definitely who, an Anamara episode. Yeah, but I'd like some some additional development for. Her. If we don't get it, it's not like tragic, but I definitely love some. Um, and I'd like Yo to like I I'd like Yo to get a little bit more spotlight this season. If that happens, then I will I will 100% say that season two is what I consider perfect and probably the best piece of Love Live related media. But then again, we have to see how it ends because we still have like four more episodes where's, to go. Where's so. my Hanamaru workout episode? That's all I want in life. I want the big sweat. It, it's a, the Yoshiko workout I episode. I want the big as sweat. Of this. <laughs> Give me the big sweat. 
So I guess that's it as for today, right? Great episode. Really enjoyed it. This is my... I, I thought about it today. I think this is my favorite season two episode. It's just... Ah, oh, man. It's it close. Was, it was there's, been really so many, there's been so many great ones. That I know. It's say. like... How can you pick a worst episode when they're all, like, the best? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thanks so much, everybody. Oh, um, this week on our podcast is going to be My Mad Tonight Miracle Wave, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, yes. I'm super excited yes, to so talk about them. Uh, also, also, don't forget to check out our giveaway down below, the Moment Ring. Oh, right. Scope out that. Moment Ring. Check out the Win Gleam. Win your very own Moment Ring. Your Just very click on the Gleam link. Moment click Ring. Click on the Gleam link. Comment on the video so you can have a chance to win the third ring, enter our contest, and yeah. Have it go from there. Maybe you'll get a ring shipped to your house. I still don't have my rings, by the way. Um, all all of the contest rings are being shipped to my house. And they're going to Luke first, who, by the way, lives on the other side of the planet. How is that even possible? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe maybe they shipped them through Asia. That would be funny as hell. They just went around the other yeah, way. Yeah, they just went around the other way. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, goodbye, everybody. Thanks, Thanks so much for watching, watching and or listening. Goodbye. Goodbye, Jake's friends. Bye, Jake's friends. Bye.